Hmm. I don't know. This week, I really wanted to finish off the train. However, there was a little problem. It was really hot. <coughs> However, on Saturday, the sun was a little bit nicer and lowered it all the way to about uh, 101. Sunday's actually pretty good. Um, I think we're in the 80s right now, which means I am frantically trying to make this video for you on Monday. That being said, what do I put here? I have two LEDs that stick out the end, and I could always just snip, snip, cut them off. However, what a waste of LEDs. We've got to do something with them. So I came up with a couple options. Option one, I think the most obvious, what goes at the end of a train? A caboose. Cabooses, or as I like to call them, cabise, were used to house maintenance staff and keep an eye on the train, making sure it wasn't going to explode or anything. However, the cabise are normally only on cargo trains, and this is a passenger train, so I don't think we'll really need it. Option two, thought it'd be funny to put a little outhouse at the end. How amazing would it be if the last cart was just a little Shrek-inspired outhouse dragged along by the rest of the train? However, if you've seen the whole train series, you'll know that the train already has an impossibly small restroom, eliminating the need for an extra outhouse. So we move to option three, a battery or a generator. Since my city is going to branch off into a bit of the fantastical, strange contraptions such as diesel pump engines might need an external power source, similar to how steam trains need a coal cart tugged behind them. Initially, I took the inspiration from cube hedrons that you'll see in old Magic the Gathering art, but I actually ended up designing and building a whole external power source of my own design. However, most diesel engines hold diesel tanks under the train, and if I were to put this in, it'd be a redundant source. And then I'd also need to rewire all the lights again. Option four, a third passenger cart. Would it look good? Yes. Could it simply have two lights instead of three? Sure. Uh, would it be kind of boring to make a video repeating the process of another video? Absolutely. Plus, I'm pretty much out of specific passenger cart pieces, so we're ruling this one out. That's four options down the drain, past the golden number of three, and none of them seem to work. So I did the only reasonable thing, and I gave up. No, I took a break to gather my thoughts and inspiration. That's it. Long ago, I thrifted some cube bots and set them on my shelf. They're little robots made from wood and fold perfectly into a cube. You want me to show you? It's really hard to figure out, so uh, I'll give you this Google image instead. So I set on the journey to make a Lego robot that can easily change into a cube. And it turns out it is much, much harder than it looks. But after throwing my Lego against a wall for hours on end, this is what ended up sticking. It's, uh, it's almost a cube. And when he opens up, he becomes the Robo Ribbiter, a robot frog with a large hammer for fixing and smashing. And looking at him closely, I can confidently say, I don't like him. The chunky wooden cube bots with their simple faces really set a vibe that this robot didn't give off. Feels like one of those cheap transformer toys where when they transform from a car, the whole front end of the car is still one piece on their chest. Just doesn't have a symbiosis between the robot and the cube, so I set them aside and tried again. Mark II, in my opinion, was a lot better, but you can tell this wasn't the final design because I only ended up taking two photos of it. Also, it didn't turn into a cube. It was an 8x4x6 rectangular prism for all my math geeks out there. Now, I can finally present the final structure, Mark III. Now that is a 6x6x6 six 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 cube. And this is what the final product looks like. Now normally I build these along with you so you can see everything that goes into it. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time today. I might not even have time to finish this whole project. But let me show you what this cube turns into. Alright, first things first. We are going to move the arms out, and we're going to move the back little um, rocket launchers, missile launchers, whatever you want to call them. There we go. And then if you guess that these are the legs, you're absolutely right, but there's not two of them. There are four of them, which tag... Anyways, it's technically not a crab, but I'm still going to refer to it as such. Move the arms out. It's got its big claws. It's got its big claws.
Last but not least, let me get the head up. There we go. I know crabs, their little stalks have the eyes on it, but you know, we could all do with extra eyes. And we're just gonna, we're gonna turn them this way. There we go. We've got a giant crawling crab mech with mistle boosters. Not bad, not bad. He used to be a lot um, harder to move the legs. I think I'm going to have to replace these little clips because now some of the legs are too easy to bend. But um, besides that, pretty good. And you can get him in some great poses too. Also, his, um, his claws rotate. Nice! Is he perfect? Not by a long shot. Our parts of him fragile, of course, especially right here and this joint right there. However, he does fit into a nice cube. He's very cute. He requires, or he meets all of the requirements. And I like him. I think it's the best we're going to get right now. If you can take his design and do better, I'd love to see it. All we have to do now is get him onto a little train platform. Now I do have a dilemma because it is Sunday evening. It's already pretty late. I wanted to relax a little bit. Been uh, working most of the weekend. However, there's two options. One, I can push through and do this for most of the night and then get the video ready and it's probably not gonna look its best but it'll be done. Or two, I can call it here and then make a very nice intricate stand, use the next week to create a bunch of details. It'll probably be a shorter video, just like today's was, but it'll look nice and it will complete the train. As much as I want the train done now, I think that's gonna be the option. So, if you like my little crowd, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, other things that YouTube's supposed to do. This has been Andrew. You've watched the Scrap Box. Have yourself a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.